It's Sunday the 5th of October at the Pro Cathedral here in Dublin. I'll be drawing attention to a number of things today. Firstly, I will be drawing attention to Porrick Dun Yusher who worked at this cathedral and who finished up here last Sunday. That is the main issue here today. I'm waiting now for the 10.30 Mass to come out and I will be back here again for Mass later on. Another issue that is here is that underneath this cathedral there are 900 bodies stored in lead caskets piled high. Some of those caskets have fallen over and are opened. This is a major health hazard considering that people are invited to this crypt underneath the Crow Cathedral and there is no proper hygiene program in place and these people then leave this crypt and enter mainstream congregation. You have no authority to stop anyone out on the pavement doing anything fake crap. Uh, when did Jesus send his apostles out to stop beggars? Uh, hypocrites you are. Last Sunday, Porik done, finished up here. Porik the usher, he has no him. Porik's mother died in the summer this year. How many of the staff in here know that Porik's mother died in the summer? Why wasn't Dermot Martin and Father Riley at that wake or funeral? Why did Porrick not want the Roman Catholic Church hierarchy at his own mother's wake and funeral? Why has Porrick left here? There's a bullying system in place here at the Pro Cathedral. They think they can come out and bully people on the pavement. They think their authority moves outside the church and out onto the streets of Dublin. The days of the Roman Catholic Church rule in Ireland are over. Why did Porrick Dunn leave here? Porrick's mother died in the summer. He wouldn't tell Dermot Martin and he wouldn't tell Damien O'Reilly because he didn't want them at his mother's wake or at his mother's funeral. Why? You'll find out in time why. There's plenty of money for solicitors' letters to try and silence me. Try and silence people who are bringing the truth. No money there for years for a, a ramp for the elderly and disabled. And when I brought this letter here and showed the congregation where their money was going, where donations were going, going for solicitors' letters, who had a long start in the ramp, good members of this congregation have been coming out here speaking to me for four and a half years. Member of staff, members of staff and volunteers in here have been speaking to me. Good people who want to bring a change to this church, to the Archdiocese of Dublin. Dermot Martin and Father Damien O'Reilly is stopping that. This letter is designed to silence the people who are bringing the truth about the Roman Catholic Church in Ireland. Solicitors' letters will not stop me. The guard of Shia Kona in Store Street will not stop me. The corrupt barristers and judges of this country will not stop me. For hundreds of years you have destroyed our children, raped our children, imprisoned our unmarried mothers, buried our children in mass graves. Porek Dunn. A man who was an usher here for years, long before Archbishop Martin and Damien O'Reilly took over here, has left employment at the Pro Cathedral in Dublin. Porrick Dunn's mother died in the summer of this year. Archbishop Martin and Father Damien O'Reilly weren't invited. They didn't even know about it. And they didn't know because Porrick didn't tell them. Because Porrick didn't want the Roman Catholic Church hierarchy of Ireland at his own mother's wake or funeral. What does that tell you about the Roman Catholic Church hierarchy in Dublin? Why does Mr. Armstrong here and Mr. Morrison think that they have the authority to come outside here and tell people what to do when their own Archbishop sends me a solicitor's letter barring me from every cathedral and every church in Dublin? 
when I've done nothing wrong other than speak the truth. The bully boy tactics are being used in the Archdiocese of Dublin. The good people that attend this cathedral know the good work that's been done here by people in here, by staff in here, by volunteers in here. And the people that are going in here have been telling me for the last four and a half years what's going on in here. Bully boy tactics. Faker Morrison. And this man here standing at the door, this man standing at the door, barred two people from here during the foot washing service when the, uh, Bishop O'Malley was over from Boston. He had no right, he had no authority. These are the people here that they use, Store Street Gardaí. They hide behind solicitors, they hide behind barristers, they hide behind laws and they hide behind the courts of Ireland. They hide the truth. They deny all responsibility for the mass graves in Ireland. The male hierarchy blame the nuns. Roman Catholic Church in Ireland, Vatican funded. The funding that the Vatican are good are your donations. Your donations are paying for this. Your donations have paid for this solicitor's letter. Mason, Hayes and Corden are employed by the Archdiocese of Dublin. This has long ceased to be God's house. Children were raped in this cathedral the day that Father P.J. McCabe raped a child at the back of this cathedral. Ceased and ceased to be the house of God. It ceased. The people of Ireland will no longer be told by the Roman Catholic Church to keep their voice down or be silent. If they have a problem, there's Gardaí standing there and they can bring it to the Gardaí. Mr. Armstrong, remember, you have no authority outside that, outside those steps to tell anybody what to do. If you have a problem with that, the Gardaí are there. If you have people here you don't like outside the gate, you phone the Gardaí. You are Mr. Morrison in there, you and Fikra Morrison. Stop coming out here putting your hands on people. Ladies and gentlemen, most of you here would know Porrick Dunn. Porrick Dunn was employed here long before Archbishop Martin, long before Father Damien O'Reilly, and long before Father Damien O'Reilly gave Fakra Morrison authority to come out here and think he owns the streets of Dublin. Porrick Dunn, the usher, has left the employment of the pro cathedral. Porrick Dunn's mother died in the summer of this year. Porrick John the usher here didn't tell anyone here that his own mother had died because he didn't want Father Damien O'Reilly or Archbishop Martin to know. Porrick John didn't want them to know because he didn't want them at his mother's wake or his mother's funeral. What does that tell you about the hierarchy of the Roman Catholic Church and the Archdiocese of Dublin when one of the longest employed members of this church wouldn't tell them that their own mother had died because he didn't want them at her wake or funeral. Why has Father Damien O'Reilly ordered, ordered his staff to not speak to me and not take letters? This is what we want the answers to. That man at the door has the answers. Porrick Dunn, who was employed here long before Archbishop Martin or Father Damien O'Reilly has left this church, they will tell you he has gone on a sabbatical for a year. Porrick Dunn is not coming back here because of how, because of what he sees happening in this pro cathedral. There's people in here employed by the Archbishop of Dublin and using, using, abusing staff members 
Great volunteers have worked hard here. Great workers have worked here to try and bring a change to this church long before Archbishop Martin came here. I have a solicitor's letter here paid for by your donations to silence me. Your donations are going on solicitors. The most vulnerable in our society, people who beg, are being moved off the streets by Fikra and Mr. Armstrong in here. They have no authority to move any beggar. When did Jesus or the Twelve Apostles move beggars from where they were speaking? Who do you think you are? You yes, are hypocrites. And I am here, no solicitor in Ireland, no Mason Hayes in Corn, no guard in Ireland will silence me. You are not going to stop me.